Once again, um, we're here with John. What do you do, John? Who are you? What you do in this world? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Well, uh, my name's John Hornsby. I do have a few different hats that I wear out there in the world. Um, I'm a family guy. I'm a husband and a father. I have my own sort of freelance creative agency called John Hornsby Creative. I also am the board treasurer for AIGA Asheville, and I work with um, Creative Mornings as well and help with the partnerships um, with them and um, other things here and there. And um, I, until recently, I was also a manager of a local signs and graphics shops, but with the COVID-19, I'm one of the people who lost my job oh, no. that I had there. So now I'm kind of re- pivoting to what I'm focusing on next. So what, yeah, tell us a little bit, what are, what are your plans? How's this making you, you know, look at what you do? And, um, you know, I know for us, it's helping us realize what we want to do more of and um, ways we can make a bigger impact and not just with our downtown space, but also, you know, virtually and um, with people all over the world, not just um, awesome, wonderful Western North Carolina entrepreneurs. Yeah. Um, well, I would I would sort of echo that it has helped um, me to sort of refocus on what I think is important, mm -hmm. um, what I want to be doing with my time and energy. Um, it's also given me a chance to just kind of press pause for a minute, <laughs> and I'm embracing that, you know, um, home with the family and the wife 24-7 pretty much now, and that... Um, you know, I'm, I'm spending more time like making art with my kids and things like that, that I had sort of lost sight of before, just like laying out in the grass and looking at the clouds and picking out animals. And I was just like too busy to slow down right. and be more present for you know, some of those daily moments. And so um, I am actually kind of grateful for the opportunity that this moment is presenting. Um, to myself and I think for others who are open to looking at it that way. Um, I'm really interested in, um, you know, I've been spending a lot of my time and energy now, not even so much at the moment on where's the next uh, paycheck coming from, but really how can I reach back out to my community and support um, the people that have helped supported me over the years and um, help hold space for creatives and others to flourish and um, sort of continue to have these conversations to maybe reimagine where we can go from here. Because I think it is, um, you know, I, I, I don't think that we should go back to the way things were. Mm -mm. Um, I, I think this we is a, <laughs> a, a wake up call in some ways and an opportunity in some ways to kind of slow down the constant churn and burn of this uh, never ending production cycle that you know right. the world kind of sucks us into and um, kind of refocus on what we really want to spend our time on and I think it's more each other okay. than um, you know what, what can I how can I monetize this next idea or right. put you know sell another thing that nobody really needs and so well it's part of i think it's yeah it's part of that and and the fact that you know if something wasn't working if you see so many people getting depressed doing the things that they were doing or not being fully happy or not being fully themselves or you know really just the only thing that they're focused on i'm like oh i just want to wait until that paycheck or i just want to go home after a job you're spending most of your day in a place that you don't like doing something that you don't like. I'm probably, or we're probably one of the few ones that actually do what they love. And yet I have moments where I want to kill people anyways, because of whatever, you know, that I'm like, why, like, why is this like so stressful to you? Like, it's just a graphic or whatever it is that I'm making for them and they're making it right. miserable or their process miserable. So 
for us even, you know, because Chandra has heard me, you know, <laughs> uh, bitch about a couple and, you know, moments that I'm like, why am I even, why am I allowing to deal with this when I could be all these other positive things that I want to do? So the same thing, like pressing that reset button now and saying, okay, maybe if we do this, all these other things, because it's helping us to slow down for a minute, maybe <laughs> mm-hmm. that might work better. And it's not just about making money or ends meet. It's just about making a good, um, a good thing for the rest of the world, a good impact in the, in the world, in society, in whatever it is that you're doing to actually make it count. Because we're not here just flopping <laughs> like fish on the ground. You know, there is a purpose for the things that we do. Either they want to believe it or not. So yeah. um, if this is going to help our society to be better for it, I prefer to stay home. It's worth the struggles. <laughs> yeah, home. it's worth the struggles. <laughs> well, I, something you said that's uh, already becoming a theme and pattern we're seeing, talking to different people, totally different people, totally different industries, the serving and supporting your community. Um, yeah. you know, and that's, we talk about branding a lot. That's one of the things that, that we um, have expertise in and we've been trying to get that message across, right? Where it's about your community, whatever that community is, whatever that audience is and how to best serve them. You are just by nature of owning a business, you are in service to others, no matter if you sell products or whatever. Right. So, um, how are you, you said you reach out, been reaching out to the community. How are you kind of strengthening your community and serving your community? And what are some new things that you might try to do to, to serve your community? So I guess uh, a few different things, um, you know, I mentioned before AIGA and creative mornings, those are kind of two sort of tribes that, you know, that, yeah, that I've been in are. for a while. <laughs> and, um, and, and that very much, you know, a lot of overlap between them, and the, the creative uh-huh. community here in general. Um, and so I've just been sort of jumping into the fact that we're all now having these conversations online, as opposed to, you know, in, in a boardroom or at a bar or whatever. <laughs> um, and helping, looking for ways to sort of just help hold those spaces and help, um, uh, facilitate it and, and foster those connections. So um, I've been working on, um, you know, I helped a, a little bit with the last creative mornings, they had to go virtual instead of in person. And so, mm-hmm. you know, it's nothing, um, you know, earth shaking, but like someone has to like click the buttons to change the camera view and, <laughs> <true>. and, <laughs> and help me you know, look out for chat questions and those kind of things. Um, and so you know, I've been just participating in different online gatherings in, in that way to try and not just show up as an attendee, but also uh, to help facilitate, to facilitate you know, what's it, happening yeah. in yeah. those meetings and, you know, provide a, help provide the container within which other people can connect with each other and facilitate those connections. Um, that's something that I'm becoming more and more interested in. And, um, you know, I'm in a situation where I, my, my wife has a, she's in the high risk category for this thing because she has pre compromised immune system. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm anticipating that this could go on for a while, especially for us, you know, just being more homebound and more, um, you know, we were sort of, you know, being very conscientious about the social distancing and so forth before it started getting mandated because you know mm-hmm. we saw it coming, and um, and you know the reality is you know it could be a year before there's a vaccine for this thing, and so this might be where I am most of the time for a while, um, and so how can I take my creative talents and apply that to um, helping to foster the community to make those connections that's the question that I'm, you know, asking myself every day and exploring different ways to do that, whether it's um, working with uh, also supporting my wife on putting together a workshop um, that we want to do online for um, sort of helping uh, both couples or, you know, partners deal with, you know, now we're together all the time and and how do we yeah manage- i saw some i, I saw some of that share share with us 
<laughs> yeah, share with us the details because I saw some of that. <laughs> yeah, so um, just, you know, basically how to have a healthy relationship. And um, that's an area where we've been fortunate and have seen a lot of you know, a lot of friends and family be not as fortunate in that mm -hmm. in that department. Right. Um, and so we think we have some things to offer about, you know, what each person right. can do to um, <laughs> not kill you know, each other. Not, <laughs> and, um, you know, be flexible and responsive and supportive. And um, and so that's something that we're working on, looking at rolling out. Um, and then, of course, you know, I've also uh, my background is art and design and right. so forth. And so still looking for, um, you know, continuing to do freelance work in that arena, but also really trying to um, focus on how to use that to support the both the creative community or mm -hmm. um, uh, clients who are, you know, sort of more human centric and working on solving you know problems for society and for people as opposed to just trying to to make a buck everybody has to right. make money and right. that's a necessity and I, I don't have any um baggage around like making money but um i i believe there's philosophical uh, approaches and mm -hmm. and values that come into play of how do you go about that right and are you achieving that by focusing on people or you're achieving that by focusing on the money and I believe that if you focus on the people and supporting and empowering mm -hmm. and uniting people that you know that will lead to profitability but if you right. just focus on profitability right. then people are kind of expendable in the right. pursuit of that and right. so look I look to align myself with organizations <laughs> that share those kind of values right well yeah because you can you can make money and um you can have the thought of we're all in this making money somewhat, um, at least to survive. One thing is to have money to be alive and still enjoy your life and not focus on, oh, well, I didn't get this new phone, so I'm just sad because of it. Oh, you know, it sucks. Or say, you know what? I'm pretty lucky I have a phone altogether. And yes, it would be great to have a new one, but it's all right not to either. And the fact that you have a roof over your head and food in your fridge and your family's healthy and you have, you know, like the little things just to enjoy your life and enjoy the trip that it's your life. That's, I think it's more the sufficient, but you know, there's people that see it and like, oh, if I don't have all these things, that's when things get weird because they need all this money, <laughs> way more money right. than you actually need. To just yeah, get, get the extra stuff right but right. the stuff that part that you know what we're going through right now it we're really in the need basis we're not so much in like oh well you know i do i want a mansion now, i don't need it i want it just for me and my cat <laughs> so it's two different things you know what you're looking at and how people look at it that's why you know when we've had conversations with Chandra a lot of times like I I don't see any of the companies that do what we do as a competition at all I right. see as we're all in this together we can all share stuff we can all like do things together and believe me we're, we're going to be better for it too and you're going to have a lot more fun doing it too instead of being all grinchy and like oh I hate them you know, so I think that, I mean, for a mental health perspective, for a monetary, like for all the things, it makes more sense to do things together anyways. Yeah. So, yeah, yes, we all need to make money because we're not farmers. We should all be farmers from now on. That's it. Right. A lot more people <laughs> are, that's for sure. <laughs> there you go. I mean, doing the garden, see? Yeah. Well, I think what you said, too, that there is a need for, um, like, you're trying to help people improve their home lives and their relationships. Mm -hmm. And those have been neglected. You know, oh, we've totally. been, we put work first so much and, you know, the rat race and putting in 12 hour days. And so I think what that you guys going down that path, I love, I love hearing that because we all have so many different gifts and perspectives and experiences mm -hmm. that we think like before this, maybe you wouldn't have thought, okay, I'm going to try to share this and be some kind of not relationship coach, but you know, help people in that journey. Um, but just by sheer, you know, sheer fact of that we're living through this and we can all share what, how we're dealing with it, how we're going through it and take the time to stop and reflect on like, okay, how can I improve my relationship? How can I be a better partner? How can I have a better 
home life. And I mean, seeing everybody working on their houses and gardening, and my, <laughs> my farm, my, my neighbors are like full on building a farm, like for real. <laughs> and you're just all the dogs getting walked. And it's just, it's a really nice pause, you know, and of course it's a little bit privileged to be able to say, Oh, I'm like safe and happy and healthy by what I am right now. So, um, I love hearing that you're, you know, working on some, some, a new avenue for you guys and something that we need more of, I think. So that's exciting. Yeah. I think that's a very much an, a, a very American lifestyle thing that, that we have going on here. That's, that's, that's sort of rat race. Yeah. and not balancing in that quality of life you know when yeah. i travel to places like spain and so forth it's like totally. it's a lot more relaxed and yeah. people live longer and seem to be happier and they do just fine yeah without, it's, it's like, yeah it's rambling, very... you know 20 hours a day you know <laughs> No, no, it's, it's very oh. funny i you know that I, I was born and raised in argentina and and me growing yeah. up it was you know, at one o'clock after lunch, everybody will go and take a nap. Like the stores will close yep. for until like four and then they will reopen. They will stay later, of course, but it was all, and they will, nobody had money, but for three months they will go on vacation. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. why would you even do that? But they would, because they understood that to them, yes, it would be cool to have the stuff, the, the latest stuff, but at the same time, that was more important as you know again going in this trip of life just yeah. to enjoy your life even if it was without stuff per se but that was more important even if they came back and they had no money <laughs> <laughs> you know they knew that somewhat everything was going to be okay so yeah. um you know of course some people can't do it anymore or they still do i mean i i have friends and family down there and they still do the whole summertime they're out of the city <laughs> they're gone i'm like but i thought you had no money no no for this we do <laughs> <laughs> so it's you know it's yeah it's priority what actually mm -hmm. the life that you want to have and yes here in the u.s it's very much like work 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 pay your bills pay your bills and that's not a healthy life that's not what we're here for so the yeah. fact that this is giving people time to reset and rethink their priorities and what those are we're seeing a lot of that <laughs> And as much as the situation is so sucky, um, it's good that, that it's coming out of that. If that's what we need it, yeah. let it be then. Let yeah, it be. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, can, I want to ask about the Creative Morning and AIGA. What's their, what are they saying from the top down? You know, how are they um, handling this and pivoting? And obviously Creative Mornings went virtual. for So that was the first time it had been streamed online, yeah. correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, here, Will they continue um, to do that? Like, is that going to be part of the new normal for a, for uh, Creative Mornings, where everybody can access it? Uh, well, first off, I'll say I don't I don't think I'm uh, in a position to speak for what the top down you know, <laughs> point of view is. But um, from what I understand, I would say uh, next month is definitely um, the the plan was you know for uh, the next two months, so last the last one, and then this coming one. Uh, to be online um, and then it's kind of you know reevaluate from there you know personally I I think that this is going to get extended longer than the 30 days um, but so you know what happens next I think is is anyone's guess but um, just judging from seeing what's going on you know elsewhere in the country in the world I think you know we're just getting started here on the, the, the process. And the reality is that, you know, if we do things right, it slows down that process, which, which extends it over a longer period of time. So, you know, to save more lives, you have to draw it out longer because that's kind of the whole point of, you know, flattening the curve and not right. overwhelming the, the hospital system and so forth. Then that just means it will take longer to work its way through. Um, so I, the next one, is, as far as I know right now, the, the plan is to do a, a, an online thing. I don't have a lot of details that I could speak to beyond that at this moment, um, as far as Creative Mornings goes. And um, as far as AIGA, you know, both organizations um, the, from the national level have been 
providing down a lot of great resources mm -hmm. to help um, help us move um, online. Um, AIGA or, ch or AIGA chapter, all of the chapters got a pro Zoom account. Mm -hmm. um, so to help us facilitate doing more online events. Um, so we will be rolling out more online programming. Um, there's one thing I'm working with um, Brett from Better Than Unicorns. We're going to be doing a, a periodic um, event through AIGA that will basically just be um, calling it Watch Stack, and it's going to be watch basically get a bunch of people together and simultaneously we'll watch a uh, sort of inspirational talk. It might be mm -hmm. a little TED talk or awesome. a, maybe a creative mornings talk from another city or something else. Um, and then sort of have a facilitated conversation around that, you know, and, um, you know, watch, watch a video and then talk about, you know, what we think about that and how it relates to our current situation and um, sort of just use that as an opportunity to have a shared experience and uh, further kind of, you know, build the community and, and try and create an opportunity for some meaningful conversation and connection. Um, and, and we'll be having lots of other types of events as well. Um, I know there's talk of doing like online portfolio reviews mm -hmm. with students. And mm. so um, there's a whole list of <laughs> ideas that are being thrown around on the events committee right now. And I think, you know, we're going to work on putting those together and rolling them out so that we can kind of keep, you know, the community engaged for however long um, this goes on. And again, I think this is sort of a kind of a new normal, mm -hmm. you know, I think, um, you know, not that we're not going to ever go back to being able to meet in person, but I think these virtual meetings now are going to be very uh, much just a part of the mix of what we do, yep. you know, as a society, really, um, mm -hmm. which, you know, some people were doing that a lot already, and right. now a lot of people have been forced into it, and I think, um, you know, it's just going to become more kind of ubiquitous to our society, just like everybody has a cell phone, mm -hmm. everybody will be having meetings like this more with people that are maybe on the other side of the world. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they realize, too, how comfortable it is. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't have to put pants on, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I don't have Never to. Never know. <laughs> well, John, thank you for for being part of this. Thank you for being our part of our series of conversations around this theme of how people are navigating things. Um, and uh, we maybe we'll talk again. We'll see what what, what we keep on doing with this. We're having a lot of fun to see. Now I would, yeah. This, so. And I'd love to have you and your wife both on after yeah. you guys, you know, get that together and we could talk more about that. And, um, yeah, you know, totally. we're, we just want to keep having great combos and um, just supporting each other through whatever endeavors we're trying. And there's a lot of new, we're all trying new stuff right now. So yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, thank you for having me and, you know, appreciate the time and anything I can do to help you all in your endeavors. You know, I know it's a weird time for you too. You just opened up a new space. <laughs> And we miss it. <laughs> we miss um, it. Anything we can do to help. Cool. Thank you, Thank John. You. Thank you.